Hey everyone, so we get a lot of questions asking us things that we just don't cover on videos, more personal questions. So in this video, we picked out several of those questions and we're gonna answer them for you. And in between these questions, we are going to give you some fun, endless RVing, unknown facts, well maybe some of you know them, but unknown to most that are pretty interesting. So if you're new to the channel, I am Izzy, MJ and Jason. We are Endless RVing, the channel that brings you the best in RV DIYs, product reviews, RV tours, and so much more. If you're new to the channel, we invite you to subscribe below and hit the notification bell. And if you're back for another video, we thank you for joining us. So let's start off with the fun fact. So a fun fact is that I actually placed second place in a county spelling bee before COVID hit. All right, moving into question number one. Now this came from my friend's cousin, John. John Halloran asked, what made you guys want to start a YouTube channel? And a couple other questions, but answer that first. You always give a good one. For so this. yeah, we, we actually have talked about this on a video before. So we started a YouTube channel because when we got our RV, we were very green to it. I learned a lot uh, watching YouTube channels. One of the biggest frustrations when I was watching YouTube channels, especially DIY stuff was, I've said this a hundred times, you would get from A to Z with nothing in between. So I would have to piecemeal multiple videos together to try to figure out what we was trying to do. So I told MJ one day, I said, I think we can start a YouTube channel because we started doing a lot of DIYs and learning things and make it very informative. And that was kind of, you know, the catalyst of how our channel started. Informative, but compact too. That, yes. was, that was the key. Oh, that's concise, another big one. I, yeah, we don't fluff our videos. Yeah. They are, especially the DIYs, they're just to the point without wasting your time. Right. So the next question is, what do you guys see for the future of your channel? This is from John as well. Growth, growth, growth. We want to meet more people. We want to grow to a million subscribers and just help as many people as possible. I mean, it's really pretty simple. Yeah, and then we have some other things we're going to be doing next year that's going to be associated with this channel, but it's really going to expand us out into you know what we're going to be able to offer that's, to that's RVers secret. and subscribers. Secret. Right. Now, what is the first RV we owned, John asked? A Jayco travel trailer. Right, it was a 28 BHBE. J Flight, 2017 right. or 18? Uh, 18. 2018, 33 footer. Yeah. It was cool. We liked it, one slide. Yeah, it was Served fun. us well for about one season, and then we yeah. moved on to what we have now. All right, moving on to number two. This comes from RV on the single. Sean Rice asks, what dislikes do you have on your RV. He's got a big one. The pull-out bed in the living area. I I hate it. I have no leg room anymore. Yeah, you, you liked it. I liked it. But and now he shoots up because he's 14. Literally, and, my legs hit the wall and it gets very uncomfortable to sleep now at night. One of my biggest dislikes is that we did not get recliners. We got the bed or the sofa for him and we're mm. all kind of reeling about that. I really wish we got the recliners. One of the couple of things I dislike, I don't, I don't like the carpet. Yeah, That's obviously. really no, not new news <laughs> there. But also another big thing I don't like is the tow capacity and the payload capacity. Now, granted, we got a gas coach and that's what we expected, but you really can't tow much and you really can't carry that much. So yeah. our next one will definitely oh, yeah. have higher payload and tow capacity. That's right. Sean also asked, how much could you tow behind yours or a similar size class A? So uh, usually 5,000 pounds mm -hmm. on the, uh, the class A gassers. There's some that are more, but that's usually a good, good starting point. Right, and he has one more question. What is the, or some inexpensive things a first time RVer needs to get started. I mean, you name it, right? There's yeah. a, there's, there's everything. Yes. Anything you would need in your house, right? To get started, if you're gonna be on the road, you're gonna need dishes and, and cups and yeah. garbage bags and all that kind of stuff. But we did we did some videos on that too about you know our most uh, favorite RV items and accessories, actually a couple videos, so you could check those out. I'll name three things that you should definitely buy. A real sore hose, do not get the one do not use yeah, the one no they one give you from the dealership. A good hose and a, oh, sorry, a pressure regulator. One more thing. A TPMS. Uh, not even or a TPMS. Or a tire gauge. I mean, it presses something for the tire. A surge protector. Ah, uh, yes. Surge protector yes, for yes, sure. Yes. And then, of course, a TPMS. So those are five things, and they're not really that cheap. But <laughs> those five things you should, every RV you should have for sure. Next fun fact 
We're putting in here, this is yours, number one. Oh, but. so MJ said Izzy was a star baseball player as a kid and teen. I don't know if I was a star, because I'd probably be sitting here. Back then you were. <laughs> he like gets very shy, right? Very he gets very baffling. shy. He used to have to talk about it, how he would, you know, hit bombs over a uh, over Bombs at City Field. Him. Everybody has high school uh, football stories, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, our next question, you want to read this one? Do it's from who? Kevin Zoll, do you cover up your motor, your motor home in the winter? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. And if not, are you concerned with the snow and ice build up on the roof? We are, which is why we cover it so up. So yes to both. So, we, mm -hmm. so we're so we fortunate that we're able to park our motor home where we live and we're yeah. plugged in. So we do cover it. And yes, you can put a cover on and no, you will not get mold if you get an RV okay, cover. Right. And the difference is that RV cover is vented on the roof line and that allows air to flow through and keep everything dry. And we know this because this is going on our fourth season using a cover and we have not had mold. And it does make a difference, but you still have to be concerned with snow. So if it snows, I still go up on the roof and I sweep it off because that's that extra weight. And also if you are in storage, wind can affect the cover. So if it gets really windy out, sometimes that cover will get, you know, not ideal. It may move around, so I'm able to strap it down again, but if we're in storage, there would be no way for us to really monitor that. Right. So keep that in mind. Right. An RV garage is always best. That's our next That's one. An it's an RV, RV garage. Uh, next question is from Aaron Offit. All the years my family and I have been camping, we've had many adventures. We have many good memories, but funny as it sounds, the ones we remember most are the ones that ended in disaster. What was the worst or most eventful camping trip you had? And looking back, was it one you can now left? about or better to forget and move on. So we've had a couple of incidents. Just little mishaps. We haven't had like disaster filled trips. Thank God. We had the, uh, the side the mirrors mirror. that broke off. Right, yes. That kind of sucked. Yeah. <laughs> but there was one trip where we had a couple little things. We actually, no, there was two separate trips. One, we got locked out, which we did a video on and that. it wasn't because we didn't have a key. It was a mech, you know, the mechanism on the door. <laughs> and another one, there's one campground that we go to a lot, I'm not gonna name it. We love the campground, but we always get those little flies and they're not sewer flies. They're, I don't know what they are. They, but they always come oh. and we, they just swarm us. Those tennis racket yes. things we have, oh, we have a lot of fun with those. Yeah, that's really it. I mean, knock on wood, we really have had some good luck. I think, yeah, I mean, we've lost propane and a couple of things that have happened. Like if you have an, a motorhome or an RV, things are going to happen. The good thing is I kind of, for the most part, can fix these little things. We haven't had anything. Well, actually in Indiana, we did have a major problem, but when you get left on the side of the road. Right. We were very lucky. Okay. Next fun fact is Jason is deaf. Oh, I am deaf in my right ear. Yeah. So he, you may not notice, but he's completely deaf in his right ear. He compensates beautifully, gets straight A's in school, doesn't even bother him. He's like a bat. He clicks when he, he walks. <laughs> I'm well, sorry, that we blind. So right. <laughs> what am I talking about? <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, but if you're in a crowded place, like when we have our big meet up next summer, if there's a lot of background noise, you may see Jason kind of do this. He'll he'll lean. He don't he'll even lean know. In, yeah. So leans his ear. That happens. But uh, never lets him. You know, gets in the way of anything nope. he does. Next one. Now this guy, Oscar Meyer, is the name. Sent yes. us like. 101 questions so we're gonna bang through these real fast have you upgraded your shocks uh not yet we will in spring i see a lot of delamination on prevo what is your experience none because we don't own one do we, do we see a future when we will sell our home and go go full time no uh, we time. would probably go most time right. and get a home with an rv garage right why haven't we invented a better way to flush the black tank uh we're, we're not, not engineers, engineers. <laughs> everyone makes friends on the road have we made any enemies no. no. Would we upgrade our generator? No. Ever think of buying a site? Yes, yes, we have. And we're actually looking into that right now. How do we dress when we aren't wearing ERV gear? Um, like clothes. Like normal Americans. <laughs> <laughs> Jeans and shirts that don't say I'm sorry to be on them. What size tires do we have? 255, 70, 22.5. Are we vegan? Yes. Well, we You're are. not. We <laughs> they are. are. Why don't we see more of the dogs? We should we show them occasionally? Does MJ stand for Michael Jordan or Magic Johnson? None of the above. <laughs> Neither. Does the convection microwave bake? Yes. That's the point of it. <laughs> <laughs> what worries us most about going full time? Nothing. We're not going full time. Right, right. Well, well, most time even. We're not, we have no worries. Yeah, no worries. Which do we like more, being on the road or at home? 
Hmm. It's a combo of both. I like love both. being out there. I love being home though. Right, but then when we get back and you spread your wings, it's, it's that's sad. nice too. Here's the thing, when, when I, I'll just speak for myself. If it's all of us and the dogs, after about yeah. 10 days, I want to come back home yeah, because yeah. there's too much it's, going it's on a in a small space. If me and MJ go away with just the dogs or the three of us go without yeah. the dogs, it's, yeah. it's certainly it's more five, manageable. It's, it's, yeah, it's a lot in there. Next, we have from Gray Geezer. Numor and Integra have a shower miser feature on some models that let you divert cold water back into the fresh tank until the hot water arrives so that it doesn't go down the drain to the gray tank. I realize it's not in the base star, but you feel that could save a significant amount of water while boondocking compared to your current hydronic system. We, well, a couple of things. We don't have a hydronic system. And yes, the shower miser will save water because uh, I don't know. I don't know how much water you actually spend when it takes to get hot. I know for us, if it's cold, it's probably 15 seconds. So, you know, maybe that's a gallon, but you will, you will save water. If I don't know how much of an option that is or if it's standard, but you will save some water. Thanks, Gray. Our next fun fact that I was a public school band director for 20 years. So before I started my dog training business, I did teach for many, many years. I taught band in schools, loved it, but moved on into the, uh, the business world of, of running my own business and it's been awesome. Next one. From Karen McMullen. What do you think the best RV for a couple in their 70s my age that wants to full time? Huh, well. Oh, there's so many. There's yeah, so many RVs. Listen, it doesn't come into your budget, right? Budget's right. always gonna be number one. And then what do you want? So what we want at our age may be different at 70. Right, right. And I mean, maybe we'll get a, a class C. Who knows? Maybe. At 70. And it depends on how comfortable you are driving some. What are your storage uh, facilities like? You know, we like big. Mm -hmm. We have 37 mm -hmm. feet now. We want 43, 45. Mm -hmm. Now we may get that and hate it in 10 years. I don't know. I don't see that happening yeah because yeah. we like big but this is very personal it's, it's not something we can really answer it's going to be what are you looking for and what is in your budget mark lewis when you pull onto a cat scale to check your weight distribution do you do it with the holding tanks full or empty the fluids in the tanks have a lot of weight well yes so we do it with the tanks full because when we go on longer trips anything over two hours or so uh, we do fill up the tanks mm -hmm. So you should weigh your rig depending how you normally drive it. So if you drive empty, then weigh it empty. If you drive full, full food, full water, then weigh it that way. Because the, the point of the CAT scale is to know if you're overweight, you're within weight, and to set your tire pressure accordingly. Right. And if you're, if you're towing, if you have a, a regular, like a fifth wheel, to make sure that you are towing the correct amount of weight. Mm -hmm. All right, next fun fact is Izzy won a talent show as a child playing the piano. Isn't yes, that cute? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Although I don't play it anymore because I actually hated he playing the piano. I hate it, yeah. It was kind of forced upon me. Yeah, but you did so well. <laughs> next one. From Elizabeth Hernandez, if we had our choice of any motorhome manufacturer to live full time in, which would it be? So we're not gonna be full time, but to most time in. So we have a list, right? We haven't checked them all off yet. So, I mean, listen, we like to super C's a lot. And the show hauler, if we're gonna get a super C, that would be our choice. But then again, we like the new Mars too. And we, we wanna check out Integra Coach. And Country Coach. And Country we Coach. We wanna look at some used Country Coaches. So we have our, there's maybe like five or six manufacturers that are in our in our site. Well, we know for certain that's gonna be 40 foot and above. Yeah, it's gotta that, be big. For certain, big, and big, it's gonna have big, a tag big. axle, big. for certain. <laughs> All right, uh, we'll do another fun fact before we hit our last question. Jason, <laughs> I, I can take any song and nail the first pitch. Name any song in the world, Jason will be able to sing the exact pitch that it starts on. It's pretty cool. Yes, it's it's a, you know, a born skill, but it's, it's a beautiful thing. The last question before we hit our last fun fact is from Philip Galanti, and he says, do we plan on doing a cross country road trip? Hell to the yes. Yes, we can't wait. And the only thing holding us back is, is work. Yeah, I just don't have the vacation time to take months and months off right. of work. So yeah, that's certainly a thing when I retire uh, August 31st, 2025, <laughs> but I'm not counting. <laughs> yeah, we, that's what we're gonna do. Jason yeah. will be his second year in college and we will be we will be on the road, on the road a lot. He will be coming to meet us at different yeah. stops. And That's the good thing about traveling. I can be in college and they can 
come anywhere where I go. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. But Philip, we are so yes. looking forward to that. There's so much of the country out west that we haven't been to, and what better way than to RV out there? So we got about four and a half years before that is gonna happen, but definitely. And the last fun fact is, I was very proud of this, <laughs> very proud. On our honeymoon cruise, we went um, to the Caribbean and they held a Ms. Biceps contest on the cruise ship. And guess who won? <laughs> I won that contest. I was so proud. It was so silly though, but whatever. You know, it was the uh, queen of biceps. But that was pretty cool. Wasn't it fun? Were you yeah, proud of funny. me? <laughs> that was, actually, I think I had told you to enter. I, I didn't want to. I'm like, you're going to enter because at that point, we had just gotten married. So as you know, brides, before they get married, they work out a lot. So MJ was working at, we were working out a lot together and she was getting pretty like buffed. So um, I'm like, you should really enter because I think you'll kill these girls and, and the bicep kind and she did win. Well, you have to make a point that I was so buff because we were still eating meat at that point. That's true. I was a lot bigger. You know, now I'm, my, I'm small. I mean, I still have muscles. You know, make me sound, <laughs> I still have muscles, but they, they were definitely more pronounced then. But anyway, that was just a little fun fact. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video. In the comments below, let us know if you think we should do another video like this. And if you have any other questions, maybe we'll answer them. Maybe yeah, we won't. as questions come in, we'll save them for another future video. For sure. For myself, MJ and Jason, we thank you guys for watching and we'll see, see you on the road. road. Let's not waste time, we'll take this slow.